Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with Medical Tourism Business. I wanted to take a few moments to invite you guys to our upcoming webinar, Contracts and Risk Management in Medical Tourism. This webinar is gonna take place on September 1st at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And during this training, you're gonna learn proven methods to limit your liability in medical tourism. And you know, oftentimes when we discuss risk management and medical tourism, there's a lot of key issues left out of the discussion. So during this webinar, it's gonna cover everything you need to know to limit your liability and to limit your exposure. And one of the key topics that we're gonna to touch on is how to compose medical tourism agreements that not only protect you if a lawsuit takes place, but also a contract that avoids lawsuits. Solid medical tourism contracts are the most critical tools to safeguard your agencies from potential lawsuits. And the reason they are so important is because they outline the rights, duties, and expectations of everyone that partakes in the medical tourism process. And when drafted appropriately, contracts are a great way to avoid lawsuits and ensure all parties are on the same page. And if a lawsuit does take place, you want to make sure that your contracts provide the most sensible conflict resolution possible. You know, I've been in the health tourism industry for nearly a decade now. And over that time span, I've worked with hospitals, clinics, uh, medical tourism facilitators, and other stakeholders. And by me working with these organizations from all over the world, I've seen conflict arise and I've seen how they've handled situations. And I've seen the negative effects of people who have weak contracts. And so I've seen people who have contracts who they're subpar, uh, they're unclear, and because they're unclear and because they're subpar, they put them in a bad situation when it comes to conflict and when it comes to litigation. And I've seen the opposite as well, where people have solid medical tourism contracts. And because they have solid medical tourism contracts, they're able to have positive outcomes and avoid lawsuits in most cases. The truth is, is that when litigation arises, it's risky for all parties involved. But from my experience, it's especially risky for startups. And poorly written agreements with unclear language are more likely to result in a lawsuit. And even without litigation, a bad agreement can cost you money or even your company if you assume an unfair share of liability and something goes wrong. So just to give you an idea of some of the topics we're going to cover in this short webinar, um, we're going to go over contract best practices, um, how to protect your personal assets from lawsuits, uh, complications insurance, um, how to use your business structure to limit liability, uh, which parties should have written agreements, uh, limitation of liability clauses, uh, contracts between hospitals and facilitators, uh, patient waiver agreements, um, facilitator and client agreements, uh, best practices when hiring a lawyer, uh, the benefits of pre-made contracts, um, how to protect your website from liability, um, you know, how to avoid lawsuits and litigation, um, jurisdiction and international laws, um, conflict resolution, and the list goes on. And like I said, it's not going to be a lengthy webinar, but it's going to be jam-packed with everything you need to know to protect yourself as well as your agency. So thanks for watching this short clip, and I look forward to seeing you on September 1st at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time.